Welcome to the NRSL Bowers IndyCar Series here at the Lucas Oil Raceway at Indianapolis for the night before the 500 here. And the reason why we're doing this is to give the two new rookies in the field, Chris Louvier and Trent Dunham, a little bit of experience before entering the big race. Now, who's look who, and also this race will count for points. Also, on the pole is your pole sitter, Nick Pericles, and on the outside of him is Makoto Iguchi, I believe. Yes, that is Makoto Iguchi. So it's going to be, hopefully, a great race and entertaining one. And we probably going to see some wrecks here. Drivers, start your engines! See, we got the uh, command to start engines. Now, as, now, as what I was saying, oh, we're going to see some wrecks here because these drivers never tested on a short track before with these type of cars. So, I think we're going to see a caution in the first few laps. We might end up the caution, but it's a short track. You never know what's going to happen. Let's hope we have a really, really good race going on here today. Here comes Nick Pericles. Coming to the checkered flag. I mean, ah, what is with me today? A green flag is out for the 25 lap main event. Take a look at Makoto Iguchi. Oh, the high side. The high side actually works at this track. The high side is one of the most dominant lines we saw in practice. We have a caution already. But Makoto Iguchi is going to take... Ooh. Got a bad feeling. Oh my god. Oh no. Chris Louvier, the new rookie. Oh, they made it four wide. Oh my god. Oh my god. Big cluster here in the beginning of turn three. I don't know what caused that to happen. Oh. Oh my god! Someone flipped over! That's the 41 of Tom Shelley. He is out of the race, but he flipped over. Oh my god, maybe TV1 will give us a better view. Oh my god, a big cluster to begin our 25 lap race here today as the night before the 500. We'll come back with your green flag restart after this. Welcome back to the NRFSL Bowers IndyCar Series night before the 500 here tonight at the Lucas Oil Raceway. And we see you got three lapped cars that the people are going to have to deal with for this restart here. It's going to be very interesting. Green flag is out. Will there be a wreck this time? That I believe there, I believe so. They're going three wide. And yeah. Oh, yep. Makoto Iguchi still has the lead. So she will be able... Oh my god, Sean Harple! Oh my god, and Harrison Ponder just turns him! Oh my god! And a huge cluster just forms because Harrison Ponder turns into him. Oh my, oh my god. Sean, I think, I don't know, Sean Harbaugh will be able to, to continue, but it's a shame. Oh 
there's Chris Louvier. He's actually running 32nd. He's still in the race, which is pretty good for him. But now we haven't noticed this guy at all. The new rookie, Trent Dunn. He's currently 27th, better than the uh, Chris Louvier. But for the first time, still staying in this race. You know, and having relatively good cars. They're doing pretty good. So basically just saw the accident. And we'll come back after this commercial break here. Uh, Dan and Russell, but was in the car series the night before the 500. Welcome back to the night before the 500 here at Lucas Oil Raceway. We got Makoto Iguchi once again, the leader of this restart. And with three lapped cars once again. Will it, will it be clean? I have to be sure. A uh, green flag is back out. Here we go. Everything looks smooth at the moment. Green flag is still out. Can we complete a lap under green flag conditions finally? Yes, we can. Leaderboard is up. Makoto Iguchi has the lead. Nick Pericles in second. Lap 14 of 25. We got 12 more laps to go before this one ends here tonight. Then Makoto Iguchi just having a really, really good run. And I do believe we have a caution now. Yes, that is true. A caution is out once again. We completed a lap of green flag racing, but that's all we're going to get for green flag right now. Now, once again, we said earlier in this broadcast that these guys never tested on a short track before in these type of cars. So we're gonna probably going to see a lot of wrecks. And there's LJ Mills. Oh, boy. What happened? To oh, my God. He flips. Almost. And look what happens up here. Oh, man. Another wreck. Oh. Brenda Pericles. What was she doing down there? Now she's pinning. Oh. I see. Someone turned her around. It was Charles Sanford. Oh man. So yep, another caution here tonight at the Lucasola Raceway. We'll come back at this commercial break once again. Welcome back to the night before the 500 here. And no, per no people on the lead lap, but we got six laps to go when this comes to the line. Yep, six laps to go. So, next flag basically ends it. Green flag is out. Makoto Iguchi. But here comes the Dollar General car, Sayasumi. The two Japanese girls. The two Japanese women trying to do it one, two. Green flag is still on. Here we go all the way to the end. Be amazing if we do. Makoto Iguchi has been dominant all night. But can Saya Sumi catch up to her Japanese counterpart? Caution is out. That is the end of the race. Oh, Ian Butter. Oh, oh no! Harrison Ponder turned another person today. Oh my god. Big cluster here. Oh my god. That's basically the wreck right there. Man. 
What a shame. We're gonna end under caution here tonight. So. <sighs> Alright. We'll come back with the finish under caution. Welcome back to the night before the 500. Makoto Iguchi is gonna get her first ever win in the Interest of Bubba's or IndyCar series. And Oval, too. Very impressive of her. Been dominant. And two Japanese women finished one, too. So, yeah, been a first. Points are definitely going to shake up tonight. As Makoto Iguchi is ready to take the checkered flag. Her first ever win. Come on after turn number four. They're going at a pace speed of 41 miles per hour. Coming to the checker flag, it's Makoto Iguchi who wins the night before the 500. Wow. Put, might have been a good race if it didn't end on the caution, but lots of wrecks had an effect on this. Oh man. And let's see how many people have finished the race. I mean, let's see. Only, let's, oh my god. Only 31 people finished the race. So. Very, very entertaining. Well, if you call Rex entertaining, that was entertaining for you, but if people actually want to watch some racing, that has been kind of a wreck fest. So anyway, next time we go to a track, it's the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Indianapolis 500. I'm Chris Washington I7, signing off.